Hey guys, it is a little after 5 a.m. and I am just walking off the house floor. You can probably tell by my voice that obviously I am sick. I have been fighting the crud for quite a while and um, it has been a very long night. So, we just witnessed history. Kevin McCarthy, who is the Republican leader, he just filibustered, which filibustering in the House is not actually a thing. Um, you can't really filibuster. Um, there's only unique circumstances in which you can have what is called a magic minute. And a magic minute is um, what happened tonight. And so Kevin McCarthy just had an eight hour magic minute, meaning he spoke for an entire eight hours without a break, no restroom break, um, drinking very little water and standing the whole time. And it was incredible. It was insane, incredible. And the whole plan tonight from Nancy Pelosi tonight, <laughs> last night, I guess I should say, was she was going to try to force a vote on the most dangerous bill in American history. And we had tried everything, every procedural move, everything. And this was, this was one of the last things that we had and we thought that it might go for an hour, um, but Kevin rallied and he laid it all out there. He talked about what was in the bill. He talked about the Republican amendments that had been offered. He had talked about, I mean, he, he laid it all out there. If you guys did not catch it, go on C-SPAN and watch it because it's incredible. I'm serious, incredible. And it's been a wild, wild 24 hours. Like I said, I know I'm looking a little crazy and rough. Um, having a cold right now, this is not COVID, it's a cold. We're still allowed to have normal common colds, um, but it's kind of sucked having a cold during this whole process but that doesn't mean that we stop fighting. And I just, I can't tell you how proud I am of Kevin and the entire, hey fellas, and even the Capitol Police, poor guys. We should be, we're done for the next few hours. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of Kevin and his entire team, the entire team that they had that was writing copy and pulling facts and figures the entire time that he was speaking. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. And at that point, all we can do is sit there and watch. And I gotta tell you how disappointing it was to hear the snide disrespectful comments from Democratic members making gestures that were inappropriate, seeing some of the Democratic floor staff and hearing some of their comments towards Republican members of Congress. It was absolutely, it, it was awful to watch. Um, and for Kevin to stand there for eight hours and, and not back down. I mean, he didn't back down. When they would yell back, he would fire back. There was, I'm telling you, this is something that if you didn't have a chance to watch it, um, I think Fox is covering bits of it. Watch it, go back on C-SPAN. I'm telling you, I have never seen people be more rude. Just absolutely rude. Um, for what they know is the right thing. They know that this is a political thing for them. This actually doesn't 
help America. It bankrupts America. And so it was, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy to be in the room on the floor watching. And you guys are probably wondering what happens next. So because Kevin was able to keep going for so long, enough Democrats gave up and they left the floor to go home. And um, they actually are trying to get out of town, the Democrats are, for a fundraiser in Puerto Rico. This is insane. There is a fundraiser that they are having in Puerto Rico, and that's why they wanted to rush the bill so that they could go to their fundraiser in Puerto Rico and then get home for Thanksgiving with their families while simultaneously ruining, ruining Thanksgiving for Americans like us. It just never ceases to amaze me, these people. And um, so it's just been a really long night. They have adjourned until 8 a.m. So we have about three, we have about three hours to sleep, eat, shower, whatever. And then we are going to, um, and then we're going to go back on the floor. I don't know if my team is still here or if they left, but when I left earlier, okay, I think everybody's gone home. Thank God. I'm telling you guys, our teams work so hard. It is unreal. I mean, everyone's team has been, has been working. Okay, I am back in the office. It is now 5.30. Um, and I am going to take a quick hour nap. And then I am going to get ready to start the fight of, again now. <coughs> Um, tomorrow, you guys can see it. That's the, the blue screen of death. So that means that we will open up, reconvene at 8 a.m. The magic minute is done. So debate is over. I don't think there's anything left that we can do. Nancy Pelosi made the rule and structured the whole thing to where we can't even request that the bill get read on the house floor. So at this point, we just need to call, continue calling at 8 a.m. Start calling members of Congress. Everybody's lines are, are shut down right now. So even if you called, you would just get a voicemail. Um, that's true for everybody's office. Like if you called my office right now, um, Definitely. Well, I don't know. Our team's been here all night, so I can't actually really say. Um, but at 8 a.m., you can start calling again. We need we need the Democrats to peel off. We need the Democrats to peel off. And um, that's our only hope right now is we need to find a handful of Democrats. I think we need three, three or four to stop this. Now, the upside is, guys, is if this does pass in a few hours, which, trust me, my heart has been in this fight to defeat this bill from the very beginning. But if it does pass, just know that it will go to the Senate. The Senate does not have it together yet. There's still a very long road for this bill to become a law, and this is just one step of many. So don't lose faith. Keep praying for our country. Keep praying for my colleagues. I'm telling you, the Republicans held tight together tonight, and I'm so proud. I am so proud. And you guys should be so, so proud of 
the conservatives fighting up here right now. I mean, eight hours on the House floor. And I mean, I know I look every bit of it. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, so it's it's been a long road. And the team came together, and it is it has been heartwarming to watch the efforts to kill this bill because we all know how bad it is. I mean, heck, Kevin tonight, he was talking about how he had a binder of Republican amendments. I mean, he was like this. And keep in mind, Republican amendments were not adopted in this. I mean, there may have been one or two, but there were close to a 1,000 Republican amendments, and 98% of them were denied. <clears throat> Things like um, prohibiting millionaires from getting tax credits on plumbing. The Democrats are actually giving millionaires tax credits on their plumbing. Um, there was a bill to deny money going to the Chinese Communist Party in this bill, and that got denied. I mean, just ridiculous things that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be controversial. It makes no sense. And Kevin stood there on the House floor tonight, and, or this morning, I should say, and exposed so much of it. And I'm just telling you, you guys should be very, very proud. We have done absolutely everything we can here in the House. We have exposed what is in this bill. We have read the bill. We know how dangerous it is. And at this point, we need four Democrats to vote no to stop it in the House. But again, I, and I'll, I'll keep repeating this, even if it does pass. If in a few hours when we reconvene for the vote, if it does pass, that does not mean it is in law. It just means that it goes to the Senate where it will have a whole new set of challenges. <laughs> and that is where Cinema and Mansion will have their bite at the apple to stop this bill. So I'm going to take a quick nap. I've been up for about 24 hours now. And um, I just appreciate the fact that we have 2,000 patriots up at 5.30 in the morning watching. And um, for every single one of you that has made phone calls to help us know that you have denied Nancy Pelosi the votes on this for close to nine weeks. Nine weeks. Nancy Pelosi has never been denied, and you guys have delayed her plans for close to nine weeks. And... When 8 o'clock rolls around and we start calling again, we may be able to deny her one more time. So, yes, make those calls. Come 8 o'clock. Um, I see some comments and questions in here um, about do we have some Democrats that are willing to come? I think so. You know, uh, Jared Golden, <clears throat> I went on the House floor tonight. I wasn't planning on speaking, but I just, I couldn't sit there and take it any longer. And um, we were debating the rule on the bill, and the rule is what kind of governs how the whole thing goes down. And um, it's, it's amazing to me, because I stood there, and, and I didn't have, I really didn't have notes. I literally just was down there off the cuff. And um, I, I told him, I said, I'm going to read you a statement from a Democrat, one of our Democrat colleagues, it was Jared Golden. Even he pointed out that this bill gives more tax credits to millionaires. Two out of every three millionaires make out like bandits in this. And he pointed out that there's more hurtful things in this bill for the working class than there are for millionaires. And I said, if our Democrat colleague is saying that, that means it's bipartisan in opposition to this bill. And I talked about that. I talked about how 10 years ago I was homeless. And if this bill had been passed when I was homeless, I would never, ever, ever be able to make it to where I am today because this bill is the American dream killer. It is the ultimate American dream killer. And there's just no way for someone who is starting out in life out of school, building a business, starting a family, 
who can survive the incredible weight that will be placed on them because you will have IRS agents auditing you. You will have a 30% tax increase <laughs> according to the left-leaning um, tax policy institute. Um, I mean, the regulations, the taxes, the inflation, the debt that is placed on your shoulders, it is insane. It's going to be so hard to make it in America under this bill, which is why we are fighting it every step of the way. We are going to work to get rid of it if it does pass. If this gets signed into law, not only are Republicans already taking the House back, we are going to dismantle it and then some. So I just, I want you guys to feel like there's hope because there is hope. There is absolutely hope. And there are a lot of people up here fighting at all hours of the night. And so just take heart and we're going to make today a great day because no matter what, Nancy Pelosi has been denied the votes. We have an opportunity to do it again. So eight o'clock, make those phone calls, call some of those moderate Democrats. And um, I'm telling you, it's, it's game on. So thank you guys so much. Love you guys. I'm going to take a quick nap because I need it. And then I will be back at it at 8 a.m. Take care.